Cowboy Jack, here's Skybox Guitar. This is artwork that I syrup, 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 syruptitiously, syruptitiously, kind of without anybody knowing, took picture of this artwork at a local Big Lot store. And uh, it was just artwork that was, you know how they sell artwork. And you throw it up on the wall and it was in a frame and whatever. So I took a picture of it and then I ran it through some filters on my computer. And all shiny, different rainbow colors. And I thought, hey, that might look kind of cool on a cigar box guitar. And this one I sold today. It's a three string. Those three screws are the pull pieces to the pickup, which is embedded in the box. The, way I, the reason I do it that way is so that the artwork remains intact and there's not a big old honking hole cut right in the middle of the box. These are small boxes. When I say small, six, eight inches by six, eight inches, sometimes ten. And therefore, there really isn't much room to put a big honking hole in for the pickup. So years ago, I came up with that idea. So the pickup is embedded in the box. It's a single coil pickup. I also make humbuckers. And the humbuckers do have a big honking hole. Most people like the big shiny silver humbucker. Although I can also embed the humbuckers in the box as well. And one volume control, old school, no tone. I think I put tones on two or three or four CBGs out of the 4,000 I've made since 2005. They're basically hot rods. It's kind of like a off-road motorcycle with no fenders kind of deal. Uh, maybe a dune bucky kind of thing. That's the way I kind of look at the cigar box guitars. They're a different beast than a regular guitar. I do make the, th the uh, six string cigar box guitars as well as the threes and fours. The vast, vast, vast majority of folks buy the threes and fours because they're cool, they're different. A lot of those people already have a six string. And uh, I mean, I haven't ask every single person who's bought a three or a four. But uh, anyway, I sell way more threes and fours, and I'm selling a ton of ones and twos, the Dilly Bows, one strings and two strings. I also make a cigar box guitar that has three strings, just like these, the fifth, fourth, and third, and it also has an A bass string up on top. So, you know, real from a real bass guitar. So when you play slide or when you fret, you're fretting the bass as well. I've got two outputs, two pickups, one pickup for the bass string, one pickup for the three guitar strings, two separate outs. One out goes to a bass amp, the other out goes to a guitar amp. So when you're playing guitar, you're also playing bass too. So the ten of those to cigar box guitar enthusiasts who are one man band uh, uh, players, one band man musician, one man band band man man has That's what I said. One man band. Anyway, so when you're playing that particular machine, which is not what this is at all. <laughs> anyway, if you're playing that guitar, three strings and one bass string, you have a separate output for the bass amp, separate for the guitar amp, so you can have a one man band. And when you're playing a C chord on the guitar, you're playing a C chord on the bass exactly perfectly in time. So if you're one of those guys who likes to do funky stuff, you have a bass. <laughs> bass smack dab right 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 along with a guitar player so it's real tight perfect for one man bands <clears throat> anyway that's not what this is <laughs> thanks for watching and thanks for your kind support